What's up, guys? It's your boy Dab here, and Coco. <laughs> it's your girl Coco. So we're gonna give our honest thoughts, thoughts and opinion on what we think about uh, comic base wise, what happened. Mm -hmm. But spoilers, just for anybody who clicked on the video, there's gonna be spoilers. So stay tuned. Who whoever I'll wants look. to stay in the Alert. Alert. Spoiler alert. Alert. <laughs> okay. All right. What's good, everybody? So, we just finished Moon Knight. And I would say it was He's still excited. amazing. It was yeah. thrilling. Um, it was something that I wanted from Marvel for a long time. Uh -huh. I love all the comedy that Marvel has, but I'm a big fan of Blade. Mm -hmm. And Moon Knight has shown me that marvel can get <laughs> marvel can get like kind of scary right because that's what we want to see from like i don't know the midnight suns mm -hmm. uh so i'm excited for that but uh, what do you think what do you think Coco? i love it yeah i love it yeah. yeah it's um it kept me on my seat i was like this like oh my god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no for real i was like what the hell this is a horror movie I'm watching. Yeah, honestly, I didn't no, think. No, it really is. It yeah. felt like no, it was there. Like some like parts of it are mm -hmm. super scary. I'm not even kidding. Mm -hmm. um, so what happened at the beginning was uh, there's the actor, Ethan Hawke, who stars What's up, his name? I don't even know his name. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I like that's like one in dude. The, in, in the, the comics, movie. I don't know what his natural name was. They said it, but I, I didn't kind of catch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to look it up. Mm -hmm. But and yeah. so and so he's like starting off video and he's like putting his shoes on. He's putting glass inside of his sandals. No, he huh? He um he was drinking. Oh, he was, he was drinking. drinking a gin or something yeah. alcohol, right? right? And after he drank, he smashed the glass on the table mm -hmm. and then um took all the broken glass, pieces of glass, and put it in his shoes. Right, yeah. And walked on them. Yeah, he was walked on glass, pretty much. Crazy. The whole time. Through the whole show, actually. <laughs> but, was it really? It was I mean, he had the sandals on the whole time. Oh. He never took them, <laughs> he never took them off. It was just for show, but... Oh, yeah, yeah like... That's creepy, dude. See, right there from the beginning, it was like, what the... You know, like, yeah. I was like, ah, no. Because <laughs> I feel like, oh, my gosh, that would be so painful. Yeah, yeah, that would be painful. Mm -hmm. And then he's, like, walking like he's, like, Jesus or something, right? Mm -hmm. he, he's, like, walking no, through. No, he, he definitely has this, like, um, prophet vibes mm -hmm. to him. Like, he's some sort of, like, something. Yeah, like, he, he's, like, walk, like, like, he gets up and okay. it's, like, walking. The next scene was, like, um, they introduced um, Steven, which is, you know, our Moon Knight dude, mm -hmm. and he, he, um, he ties himself for some reason. Yeah, he ties himself up because, uh, uh -huh. whoa, whoa. Lock, he locks the door, um, he puts sand, he puts sand around his bed. Yeah, yeah, um, like, uh, like tape on the door too, but. Yeah, uh -huh. he takes like these extra precautions, so uh -huh. because um, he doesn't know mm -hmm. what he does at when night. He, yeah, when he's asleep, he tries so hard to like stay awake. Like he even has this like program that plays in his house, like some sort of like Alexa type of um, thing, a voice command, mm -hmm. and it would play stuff for him. So he stays awake because he doesn't ever want to sleep because mm -hmm. he does some crazy sh you know when he's asleep i guess so mm -hmm. um yeah. yeah so he does all that but he still works like a regular job at the museum right yeah he works as like a um he acts like he's a tour guide at the museum but he he just really his job is just to sell candies to the kids. I don't know, no, weird. he's like a gift shop dude. Oh yeah, like, yeah, it's like a gift um, shop at the museum. At a gift shop. Yeah, yeah. But the museum, uh, the museum is filled with like Egyptian um, stuff. Uh, you know. Egyptian. Yeah, like you take Egyptian guys, uh, like uh, what is it yeah, like uh, artifacts, Cleopatra stuff like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
all that Egyptian goddess stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, he forgets a lot of things. Like he don't remember that he asked the girl out, he, one of his coworkers. Um, she came up to him and she was like, uh, we're still doing the steak uh, tomorrow evening. And he was like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah. um, it's like what, are you talking, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> yeah. But, um, I don't remember that. Yeah, he, he doesn't remember a lot of stuff. No. Basically, he just like, um, he has a lot of t uh, gaps in his memory because um, for some reason every time he falls asleep he goes into this world that's like like completely just like off the wall mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. so uh, one of his dreams he woke up in this um, country like yeah um, he wakes scene. Up, he wakes up in another country it's not London because he's from London but he wasn't in London and he's wondering where he is uh, but he's hearing this voice mm -hmm. which for the comic book nerds is Khonshu and he's mm -hmm. talking to him like give your give your body up give your soul to Illuminati or something right and he was just like this <gasps> who's talking yeah right <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, and eventually like over time uh, damn what happens after that um, so he woke up, right? And he like. Oh yeah, it was a happened. dream. Yeah. Um, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Three, so two, he woke up and people were shooting at him, right? And so he goes through like these phases where like people are shooting at him, and right before like a bullet may hit him or something, right? He has this like twitches where, and then next thing you know, he wakes up and everybody's dead, right? So you can tell that someone else is taking over his body. Mm -hmm. um, like Kanshu was saying, give your body up, but they instead just take take it by force, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, Ethan Hawke, basically Ethan Hawke's character, um, found out that he's there at that location, mm -hmm. and he, um, Ethan Hawke called him a mercenary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he called him a mercenary. And he was like, oh, I'm no, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know you. I'm just, you know, a gift shop person. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I work at a gift shop. Um, and um, what is that gold thing that he was, like, holding? Uh, I, I actually did. It's not kind of, I don't think it's explained. It's just, like, some gold, like, Egyptian, like, thing that he needs. Mm -hmm. And he won't give it to him because Kanshu knows, like, if you give it to him, he would have all this power, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So he goes in and out of this consciousness, and it's um, it's like every time he uh, before it was like only when he's asleep that things happen, and then now it's like all of a sudden in reality, like the Ethan Hawke is um, is in real life now. Like he could see him while he's awake. You mm -hmm. know, like fully conscious mm -hmm. um you know like he go ahead now mm -hmm. oh yeah like when uh he's fully like yeah now he can actually see him pretty mm -hmm. much yeah so um every time he like looks at a mirror or anything like that um he can see himself oh my gosh that was so that was so scary yeah when he was um in his apartment mm -hmm. and he saw some like opening in the um no he saw a scratch on the floor right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like something move the the table mm -hmm. um and so he went and investigate and turned out there's this like opening small opening in his attic mm -hmm. right so, uh, he went to go check and it's, he found a phone. Yeah, like a cell phone that had like. Uh, what was the other one? A phone and a. There's a phone and a key. And a phone and a car key. Mm -hmm. So weird. And uh, when he's on the phone, this person, he finally calls this person back who's been calling him like a hundred times probably. And when uh, he, she answers, um, she's like, hey, Mark. He's like, Mark? Why are you calling me that? No, he said it with an accent. So try it with an accent. Huh? Like what? No, what? <laughs> Why you call me that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mock. Mock? Mock? mock. Did you just call me Mock? Did you just call me Mock? 
<laughs> yeah, Hello? Just like, and then she like got cut off and stuff. Yeah, I think she pretty much hung up because he's like he's trying to figure out. But his actual name is Mark Spector in the comics. That's why she called him Mark. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he started seeing these things, and um, like his reflection um, was talking to him. It was so creepy, guys. Oh my god, you guys need to see it. It was so scary. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this this like figure that's like super tall figure that keeps following him following him in the elevator oh my mm -hmm. god oh, like, country, yeah. it was so scary okay mm -hmm. um yeah <laughs> no, the elevator good. seemed really alive like, yeah crazy. and then the old lady showed yeah. up yeah yeah, yeah that was yeah, so scary that was so funny yeah, that whole a lot lady, of jump. Uh, that whole lady is like, I need to get out of here, bro. Uh huh. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, I thought she was gonna turn into something like creep, creepy mm -hmm. again, but um, yeah, I think it was a way of country just messing with him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, and then the one scene after all of that happened, and he goes back to the museum, and Ethan Hawke uh, is there, and pretty much. Like everyone there at the museum is under his control, mm -hmm. and one, the one thing that uh, Stephen decides to do is to go back to work later to scan the candy and stuff, which is the craziest thing, right? Mm -hmm. But then the lights go off, and you hear this werewolf. Now I don't know. I thought it was werewolf by night. Now it might be a regular wolf. But it looks like a regular movie. Yeah. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If it's if it's a werewolf by night or a regular wolf, right? <laughs> let me know. He went to the bathroom to hide from the wolf mm -hmm. and uh he saw his 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 reflection in the mirror and started talking to him and um he was like just give me full control and he's like full control what like you're not gonna die just let me handle this okay but it's it's his reflection mm -hmm. so it's the mark guy um yeah and uh he started like transforming into this like mm, the full out oh, the costume mm -hmm. and um Costume. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, this is costume. The outfit, the Moon Knight outfit. Yeah, okay? it's like a part of him. Like mm -hmm. he, when he turns into Moon Knight, beat the shit out of the wolf. <laughs> yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like uh, Batman. Uh, he is like the Marvel's Batman, so mm -hmm. that's why he looks like that. But right than that, I think that was it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's there's no there's no preview of the second episode, mm -mm. so we're just gonna have to wait. But yeah, the first one really ah oh, woo. Yeah, the first one's pretty good, and everybody yeah. else they're saying the same thing. Like they're saying that's pretty good. I like it. I like the difference uh, of different Marvel shows. Like you had the Winter Soldier and the Falcon. I think mm -hmm. it was called. You had WandaVision, and all of them they were they were different, right? Um, so not the same trend. So that's good. But I really liked it. I hope you guys like it. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. All right. But with that being said, like and subscribe and we out.